Welcome to Hart County Public Library Outreach Virtual Storytime. We are so glad that you could join us. Have you ever thought about the qualities that a good president should have? Well, Squid certainly has, and he'd like to share those qualities with you in the book, President Squid, written by Aaron Reynolds and illustrated by Sarah Varon. I have realized something very important, something that changes everything. No giant squid has ever been president before, which means I will be the first. President Squid. Now that has a nice ring to it. I will be the greatest president who ever lived. Want to know why? Here are five important reasons. Reason number one, presidents wear ties. See tie, see tie, see tie. Bow ties count. Wearing a tie is very presidential and I look fabulous in a tie. Do you see any other giant squids around here wearing ties? That's what I thought. Reason number two, the president has the biggest house ever. Have you seen the president's house? It's huge. I mean, this place is enormous. Well, have you seen my house? It's not just huge. It's not just enormous. It's absolutely titanic. Pretty cool, huh? Reason number three, Presidents are famous. Let's face it, I'm the most famous sea creature on this whole page. Do you know that guy? Of course not. He's a nobody. How about that fish over there? You never heard of him, right? How about me? Do you know who I am? President Squid, you say? Exactly. I even have a book named after me. You're reading it right now. Reason number four, presidents get to do all the talking. I'm great at doing all the talking. I'm doing all the talking right now. I'm doing all the talking about five reasons why I should be president. And when presidents talk, everyone has to listen. Are you listening? I said, everyone has to listen. And finally, Reason number five, the president is the big boss. Bossing people around may be the most presidential thing a president does, and I'm perfect at being the big boss. After all, there's nobody bigger than me. See? And there's nobody bossier than me. Hey, shark, brush your teeth. Hey, jellyfish, comb your tentacles. You look terrible. See? Very bossy. I'll be in charge of everybody. I think I'm ready for all that power. Let's go over this once more for those of you who are a little slow. Where's Ty? Check. Huge house. Check. Famous. Check. Does all the talking. Check, checkity, check, check. Big and bossy. Check and check. I'm perfect for this job. All hail President Squid. I said all hail President Squid. There is no hailing going on. What's the problem, people? You, Sardine, why aren't you hailing me? I would, but I'm stuck in this clam. Hmm, does that clam know that I'm wearing a tie? He doesn't seem to care about your choice of neckwear, sir. How strange. Does the clam know how big my house is? He seems unimpressed. Do you know who I am, clam? Do you realize how famous I am? He says he's never heard of you, sir. You have got to be kidding me. Clam, this is President Squid. I do all the talking, yes sirree, Bob. When I talk, 
everybody has to listen. Presidents talk, clams listen. That's my motto. I say, swim. You say, how fast? I say, back off from the sardine. You back off, bub. And I say, unhand him this very instant. Clams don't have ears. Stand back, little sardine. I'm coming. I'll help you. Wiggle, wiggle. You did it, sir. You helped me. I did help you. I just jumped in there and helped you. Helping people. That's very presidential. It is? It is. Hmm. Being president is more work than I thought. All hail President Squid! All hail President Squid! Wait! I have realized something very important. Being president is exhausting. I do not want to be president. I want to be... King Squid! All-powerful ruler of the entire universe! All the power, none of the work! Now that has a nice ring to it.